So we have an announcement. We're not boyfriend and girlfriend anymore. We're engaged. Yay! Yay! And we're gonna tell you about how it all went down. Mm -hmm. So I proposed to Dana when we were on a trip in Bali last month. We arrive on a beautiful golf course on the edge of a cliff in Uluwatu, Bali. We get in a golf cart and then Dana gets blindfolded. Let's backtrack a bit. Let's start from the beginning. Okay, okay, fair enough. First, did you know I was coming? No, because we've of course discussed getting married and etc. before, but Miro specifically told me we weren't getting engaged this year and I had believed him. I lied. He's a filthy liar. <laughs> Watch our last video for more details about our relationship, but a quick overview, we met online a year and a half ago and we very, very quickly became very in love. Oh, <laughs> And we're yes. very close. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been dating for a year and a half now. It flew by and with each day our love for each other just grew. Since the very beginning of our relationship I knew that I wanted to be with Dana um, for a very very long time and probably about two three months in I knew I wanted to marry this girl <laughs> which is insane. Me too. I can specifically remember I thought it was the most endearing thing. We met in February but he still had the Christmas tree up <laughs> <laughs> and I forget when we took it down. It must have been in March or the month after that. <laughs> yeah. But um, I say that because I remember thinking one time when we were sitting by the Christmas tree that I was like, oh, I need to marry this man. <laughs> so that was a couple months into our relationship. Just, so we've known for a long time we were a long term thing. <laughs> and just so you guys know, this lucked out for me, but Dana is the biggest Christmas fan there is. <laughs> like thinking about Christmas in August. Uh, <laughs> so back on track. So we booked a trip to Bali and I knew there was no better place to do it. It was the perfect opportunity opportunity and I only had four weeks to plan everything out. I had to talk to her family and I had to get the ring. You talk to each of my family members. Everybody, everybody has to be on the same page. He talked to each person individually, had a little conversation with them, asked my parents for advice, I guess. Yeah, they were like, are you sure? I'm <laughs> just kidding. So the second thing was I had to get the ring. I had no idea what ring size Dana was. So the first idea was to try on different rings when she was asleep. Um, I don't know if anybody's ever tried that. And, and if a girl tells you that she's, she was asleep for this, she's lying. I don't know if the guys had ever tried the rings on, but the ring that fits well, like it's gonna be, you're gonna be pulling in a finger. Yeah. If your girl doesn't wake up to that, so then I was like, okay, forget it. Like that plan's not gonna work. Uh, the two of us are just gonna go and we'll go ring shopping. The way I said it, it's like, oh yeah, like we have some free time. Let's just go look at some rings. But I, I needed to know what exactly Dana liked. And cause I, I wanted to get something that she will love, not just a ring that she'll like, but something that she will love forever. <laughs> so I didn't want to totally just guess what she likes. It was a custom made ring. And so it takes a little bit of time to get there. And it got there two days before we had to leave on the trip. I was panicking. I was literally calling the company on the daily. I was like, is this gonna get there in time? Is this gonna get there in time? How are you guys doing with the progress? It was so hilarious to hear about after the fact. Yeah, it was funny to you. Yeah, hilarious. <laughs> we were going to China, multiple destinations in China visiting, and then we were going to Bali. So lots of TSA screenings definitely made me nervous. I hid that ring so far down in my bag. It was like wrapped in a sock. It was wrapped in another package. It was like, <laughs> you know. So now we get to Bali and the place I picked to propose to Dana is in Uluwatu, which is this amazing place in Bali. The whole thing is on the cliff. It's beautiful. And obviously planning it ahead of time was pretty challenging because it was 10,000 miles away. I didn't know anybody there. So I had to find an agency to help me. I went through multiple, multiple agencies. A bunch of things didn't work out. Some of them were really sketchy. Eventually I found this one. And if you guys are interested, they did a really good job. And we're gonna put this in the description with their contact info. Not sponsored. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so the day of, I tell Dana, what did I tell you? Well, he told me that we were going to dinner and also before dinner, there would be a photo shoot, but he... <laughs> so that made my suspicion go from zero to 50. Mira was trying to convince me. He just said, oh, it's like a photo shoot. It'll yeah. be nice for us to have professional photos of us together. Yeah. Make sure you do your makeup and look nice. <laughs> well, because last time we went to Bali, I mean, 
mean, Bali is just one of these places that like everybody takes pictures for Instagram all the time. It's like pictures, pictures, pictures. Okay, so day of, here is the day. We're staying on this hotel right on the cliff. There is the beautiful scenery of the ocean. There's surfers over there. Everything's just super aesthetic. And on that day, I feel I'm a nervous wreck. What do I say? Am I gonna stumble on my speech? Yeah, of course I had a speech. I was getting that ready for a little while. And um, you know what's funny <laughs> is I never looked into proposal stuff before this. So I wasn't even aware that a speech was typical. I thought usually he just went down and been like, marry me, like real fast. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know there was a speech. Yeah. So when he started yeah. speeching, I was like, yeah. oh. I just wanted to talk to Dana sincerely to kind of commemorate that moment and lead with some words of love and commitment and <laughs> things like that. So so on the morning of, we, we both go down. Uh, we were very close to a surfing spot. We go surfing and the rest of the day, we're kind of relaxing, sunbathing. And I'm here like, everything's going through my head. Like, is she going to say yes? What's my plan B? What's my plan C? And then I'm like, I can't forget the ring. <laughs> so I keep thinking about like, where am I going to put it? How am I going to carry it? Is it going to fit in my pocket? Like all these things are going through my head. As we were going there, that's when my suspicion rose from 50% to 90%. Okay, why? Miro, because Miro was acting a little weird. Well, I was like, I was looking at you and I was like, oh, that's gonna be, it's, it's my baby. It's my future wife. That's, that's the girl I want to spend my life with. Uh, let's get this straight. I had zero hesitation. It wasn't the hesitation. It was just that the moment felt like it was a big moment in your life. And it's good to pause and dwell on that and think about it and really process it and let it sink in. These are some of the biggest life's moments. Uh, and now we're going to the venue and it's a golf course in Uluwatu with a cliff. It's beautiful, green, amazing, tropical. And then we get there and they instantly know who we are, which might have given Dana a clue. At this point, I had some serious butterflies. My tummy was turning over. I was wondering if Mira was gonna do it, but I wasn't sure. So I was very, very nervous. <laughs> and then we get into a golf cart and then Dana gets blindfolded. Mm -hmm. What was going through your head? I mean, once the blindfold went on, I realized, <laughs> oh, I think this is probably happening right now. Uh, meanwhile, the day before I watched a YouTube video on all the fail proposals, like when the girl says no, and this is all going through my head. Like what's, what's my plan B? <laughs> no, like how, how am I going to handle this? <laughs> we were on the edge of cliff, so <laughs> Miro could just push. No. <laughs> oh, God. I'm totally kidding. I, could, I, I don't think I could imagine of how I would feel if you said no. We have talked about this before and we were both very yeah. aware that we want to spend the rest of our lives with each yeah. other. So now we're driving in a golf cart with Dana blindfolded. We get there and she's still blindfolded and I see this beautiful arrangement of flowers, the photographer, the videographer, the drone flying in the back. And I was like, okay, okay, this is actually gonna work. So the next thing I knew, Miro had me get out of the golf cart with the blindfold and he was walked me a couple paces in the grass, but I still couldn't see what was around me and I wasn't sure what was going on. And then the blindfold came off. What was in your head? I was panicking. Panicking? No, so I, I look at Miro and then I look slightly to the side and there's this sign surrounded by flowers that says, will you marry me? And I was, uh, I was so shook. I didn't even know what to do. I think my face was probably like, Miro did a very good job. Yeah, he started giving his speech and there was a violinist in the background. During his speech, I was trying not to cry. <laughs> It's very sweet. I'm glad that we recorded it because uh, I kind of blacked out in it, so. <laughs> and what I wanted to is I wanted to make it really special, but obviously I wanted to be in the moment, but I also wanted to have it taped so we can watch it again because a moment it's a moment, but these things last a while. So after the proposal, we had a brief photo shoot with, uh, you know, the photographer, videographer, a drone, etc. <laughs> yeah. But it was fine because I was I was mentally prepared for the photo shoot, yeah. wasn't mentally prepared for this. <laughs> and then once the sun was setting, they brought out a table and a nice yeah. several course dinner. And then we sat down and we had a nice dinner uh, right by all the flowers and the, the marriage sign. <laughs> the food was perfect. Until the next day. Yeah, so the food was amazing. And then the next day we uh, both of us got diarrhea. Stop. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Miro asked me ahead of time whether I like surprises or not, and I said, I guess so. And she likes he surprises. He took that very seriously. I was very <laughs> surprised. I only knew basically when the blindfold went on. It was so memorable. It was so much more romantic even than I knew was even possible. <laughs> it was so sweet. So you were and happy? Yes, I was very happy. <laughs> That's kind of how Miro is. He's just a very caring, very sweet man. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. It turned out really good. We're going to be posting that. And if you guys want to see the final video without our talking mambo jumbo, it's very, very emotional. It's beautiful. It did such a good job. Uh, click on this link. 
Hope oh. you guys like it. Yeah. yeah. And let us know if you like this relationship thing and if you want to hear more about our lives. I think we really have amazing lives and we're very fortunate to be where we are today, the two of us together and yeah. um, having the ability to do what we do, I think it's really amazing. So if you want to hear more about um, our lives, um, let us know what you want to hear about in the comments and uh, we're happy to share with you guys. Bye, Bye guys. guys. <laughs>